Hey folks, welcome to Drawn to Whitetails. Drew Ramage here. It is Monday, November 12th. It's the last day of my vacation. I took off around, I think, November 2nd and I've hunted most days since then. I had some good bucks, including one in this area right here within, got him within 62 yards, couldn't get him any closer. Um, it's a wide buck. He's got one brown time that's taller than the other. I'm calling him Utah. Uh, but anyway, this is a rutting area. Got big bedding over here, and then a tall, grown up field down here, and more bedding out here in front of us. Uh, I've worked in here. I don't have a stand, nothing. I'm just sitting on the ground. I got my muddy camera arm on the tree beside me here. We're gonna see if this buck will come in here checking for does. I did bump a couple about the time I got to my, my spot. That's been my MO this year, and uh, Hopefully that don't mess messes up. It's the rut. I think bucks are going to be cruising and looking. So hopefully that don't, won't affect us too bad. So, all right. It's about 3 o'clock, 3.15 right now. And we're going to sit back and just watch what uh, Mike Cruz's bottles.
<laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I've got my orange right here. I had to put it over the camera because it was raining. But anyway. Oh, this is the buck I was after, I believe. This happened pretty quick. I think this is the deer I call Utah. I got I told myself this year I was gonna be aggressive. <sighs> this is the farm I wanted to hunt, but the wind's wrong for all my stands, so I just got on the back fence line walked it had the wind in my face and got up here where I knew he betted from uh, an experience me and my son had squirrel hunting earlier this year and I, I don't know let me just explain what happened we had a young buck come up here just a minute ago probably a two and a half year old eight <sighs> I'm still shook up here and uh, he got right up here where I shot this deer and saw me and went the other way and jumped the fence and I believe the neighbor shot him. But earlier I heard a big grunt straight across this valley. And uh, I grunted back at him. But anyway, when that buck came through earlier, I was like, he just got run off. And a doe had just popped out here in this bottoms and he was right behind her and came right up the hill to me. And I got a shot at 25 yards, I think. Oh, just an awesome feeling, awesome feeling. I'm gonna put my orange on because I know there's another hunter not too far over the fence line here. I'm about 70 yards from the property line. And I'm gonna walk down there. I hope it's my target buck. I didn't get a great chance. He was just coming right at me. And he was wide and I think I saw that brow tine was longer on the other side. If not, I've got my 2018 deer. So anyway, let's walk over here. Give me just a bit to get the camera off the base and I'm gonna walk over here and take a look at him. Oh. There's my setup, guys. I just had my camera arm on that front tree and I was sitting right there and made myself a little spot, but there are rubs all up on this ridge right here. And there he is. I hope it's him. If not, again, I'm happy I killed a buck. It's been two years since I've killed a buck. But I believe that is Utah. Utah. And that is Utah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's Utah. I believe he's a four and a half year old deer. Or at least he was one of the most mature deer I had over here. So, anyway, that is him. Oh my goodness. You look down through here, guys. Just a thick bottoms. And there's a one clear spot that led up this hill. And I, there's no way he could have seen me up there. But anyway, now it's time to get my boy on one. I'll try to get him cleaned up and get some pictures, but it's hard to self-film and do everything. 